happy to be here. I think that there's never been a time, perhaps online at least, where a bill has been discussed at this length, at this depth, and with this much offline impact. I'd say that uh, sometimes <clears throat> with the research work that my team and I do, we get the question, why wasn't there a reject the finance bill conversation last year? Right. Uh, the, the affordable housing uh, levy was there, and so were some other raft of different measures. And so I think um, as far as we can tell from the social media data that we've analyzed as part of our research uh, with some, you know, 50 million plus online updates, right. this year it was a different conversation around um, sanitary towels, around um, the car or motor vehicle tax. Right. So I think it's almost as though there's this public goodwill that says, mm -hmm. how can these finance bills be written from a place of good governance and right. with the end consumer, um, the public, and hopefully with the accountability and austerity measures in mind. So I think right. we're waiting to see what this means from here, but it might feel like how can we now rebuild right. together and hopefully with this new digital form of public participation. Right. The Finance Act 2023 was, you know, the maiden act for the Kenya Kwanzaa government. So one might even say that there was, you know, political or even social goodwill with the people. Judy, what were your thoughts on this? Yeah, I think it's really a recognition that um, a lot of the issues that citizens have been agitating around, mm -hmm. um, you know, th there's a bit more attention to, to some of those concerns. And so I think it, it calls for us to just take a step back and, and to really interrogate um, a lot of the policy, you know, measures that are being put out. Are they really fit for purpose both for the citizens as well as for the government, but also looking at issues of constitutionalism, mm -hmm. are they responsive uh, in that way as well? Right. Engineer James, you know, you represent the Kenya Private Sector Alliance in this particular panel. For a lot of private entities, they had spoken about the Finance Act 2023 because it was touching on employees so, so very much. What were your thoughts when it was revoked? Well, uh, this was totally unprecedented. Uh, at KEPSA, we have always embraced uh, an approach of uh, constructive dialogue with different uh, players. And those include legislature in this case, and also the executive. So we make sure that we participate in any discussion or discourse on any legislation or policy. And we go into research, we uh, dissect uh, the uh, proposals that there, uh, have been placed uh, in front of us and we'll come up with uh, what we think ought to be addressed in detail. And in this particular uh, finance bill, we actually had distilled the issues, we had made recommendations mm -hmm. to the extent that uh, we were even granted a hearing with the head of state. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, and there was a meeting that was held. And, and uh, we, out of the 16 issues that we had presented, 10 of them, were actually accepted. And so we saw them incorporated uh, in the bill. But obviously we were very specific in terms of uh